RankX is a function that lets you evaluate the ranking of an expression inside a lookup table that is built by RankX itself. You need to provide RankX first, the table that you want to iterate, and then an expression that is evaluated during the iteration in order to build the lookup table. RankX will then evaluate the same expression again in the filter context where it was called in order to compute a value. Finally, it searches for the position of the final value that it computed inside the lookup table. And the position is the value returned by RankX. It is especially useful whenever you want to produce ranking of dynamically computed tables. Let's see a few examples, because RankX accepts many more arguments, but it's better to look at them with examples. In this first example, I'm using RankX to rank the amount against all the different brands. So I first build a table, Brands and Sales, that contains the values of the product brand, and I compute in the AMT variable the value of sales amount. Finally, I use add columns to add a new column to the same variable, that uh, contains rank that calls rank x over brands and sales of amount. Rank x will build a lookup table using brand and sales and computing amount for every row. Amount is the value computed earlier. Finally, it will compute amount again in the row context generated by, by add columns that will contain amount for the current row. And the ranking is the position of the current brand in the list of all the brands. As you see, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, all the numbers ranked depending on the value of amount. You can use a third argument of rank X in case the expression that you want to use when building the lookup table is different than the expression that you want to compute in order to find the position. For example, here, instead of uh, ranking a table against itself, I have a sales levels table that contains uh, values, uh, 6, 6 million, 3 million, and so on, and uh, contains a column limit. I want to rank the amount of sales of the current brand against this sales levels table. Therefore, when building the lookup table, I will use the limit column. But when I will compute the value that I want to search into the lookup table, I need to use sales amount for the current brand. So the third, the second and the third argument are different. The second argument is used when building the lookup table, and the third argument is used in order to compute the value to search for inside the lookup table. There is a fourth argument that you can provide to rank X that is the sort order. It can be ascending or descending. By default, rank X provides a lower value to the highest number. So a number with a very large value will be ranked first. And this is typically for sales amount, for example. But if you want the opposite, you can change the default behavior. Here, I went back to the first example. I use values of product, brand, and amount. And I rank brand and sales ascending or descending. You see that uh, ascending, I get 11 for 7 million, which is the highest value. And descending, which is the default, uh, ranks the same expression as 1. So the two rank ascending and descending provide opposite values. Uh, and you need to choose the one that best fits your needs. Finally, the last argument of rank X is the behavior that rank X need to have when there are ties. There are two possible options, skip or dance. By default, it uses skip, meaning that uh, ties are counted and uh, the rank increases even in the presence of ties. But you can use dance in order to not count ties and rank all of them together, increasing only by one the value. Let's see an example. In order to introduce ties inside my calculation, instead of using just sales amount, here I'm using M round of sales amount in order to round the value to the nearest million. And then I rank against brand and sales amount against itself. The first time using skip, which is the default value, and the second time using dance. You see that rank x skip is the same up to the first set of ties. But then because 3 million is a tie, rank skip goes from 4, 4, and then 6, because it counted prosware as one of the possible values, even though it ranked it only 4. 
Rank dance instead grows only by ones, so from 4 jumps to 5 and then to 6, whereas rank skip already reached 8. So the order of the values returned by both rank X calculations is the same, but the values are different, and you need to use the one that best fits your requirements.